the proper talk and on set with me is Madame Wendy Shen from Miremba Villas. We get to have a recap of last year, 2019, what Miremba Villas has been up to. You were there with us in November. You saw how the project had taken course and you would actually get to think it's done and complete and there's nothing being added. But when she tells you that there's actually more villas being constructed, more bungalows going to be constructed, and then you actually hear that there is a mall going to be constructed. Hospitals, you're wondering, okay, wait a minute. So that wasn't the complete version of it. There's still more to it. So what do you have to say about the development of the process? Your impression is correct. Part of the project is already done. Because this whole project literally is developed face by face. Mm -hmm. The first one can be concluded and with a comfortable environment for residents to enjoy and shift into their house. And at the same time, we are still developing or constructing the second phase. So currently, uh, we have already uh, finished the, all the first phase. No matter uh, if you look at it from the landscape, from the organization of those houses and the environment we provide is perfect now for the residents to enjoy a peaceful life. And in the second phase, now you when you were there you noticed the construction of the shopping oh, mall yes. yeah so currently the first story of the shopping mall is already finished and now we are doing the second story of the shopping mall behind those shopping mall uh, this shopping mall there are more units of houses are already coming up if you go to visit you'll find that the structure is already there uh, besides the shopping mall the more housing more housing units and we are also now uh, trying to uh, develop uh, uh, we call it an entertainment park or garden a huge super big garden for all all the residents to enjoy like the view, to jog, to have birthday party, you know, even to have wedding ceremonies because it's acres of garden. Wow. It's like around seven acres, you know, it's huge. So we are doing, we are also doing that now. So in Chigo now, I have to say that Chigo is familiar with everybody and the people have been staying there for some I good time. It. Yeah. So transportation is there and I do believe more people will come to visit. Let's talk about the community life, the new lifestyle that Miramba Village is giving the audience. But Miramba's lifestyle that is giving to its property owners is different. What do you have to say about that? Actually, it's not me, it's we together. Because Property Show has been helping us uh, to uh, advocate this concept as a community life to all all, all, all of our followers, the audience, and the buyers. Community life is something uh, I don't think it's very new to Ugandans because I find that Uganda is a very open country and the people travel a lot. In such arrangement, actually, you are taken care of by the community team. So, uh, like they, they, they collect like, your rubbish collection, they give you uh, the security, you know. They even help to maintain the, the landscape, your garden, and the house to make sure that your life is somehow uh, taken care of and protected by a professional team. So, that's the community life. Besides this, the amenities definitely have to be there to make sure that life in this community is convenient. You need a cup of coffee, shopping mall just next to your door. Your kid is sick at midnight, the clinic is just next to your door. You don't need to drive to two or three hours to Kampala. So amenities make the community life more convenient to provide a gym, clinic, cafe, bakery, such service you need to uh, have a daily life. So I think this is what Uganda needs and this is what we are going to have more in Uganda. And the people uh, actually love this kind of concept to have an easy, protected, secure and a convenient life. It's Miriam Villas and the other beauty about it is the affordable housing that is taking place. Mm -hmm. What beauty do we want to see than every property owner? Just tell us about that. Actually, I'm going to give more information than the location of the project. Uh, if we talk about the new project, we have to go back to the uh, original purpose or the original target of this company, why it is set up. Uh, our company has the, the headquarter, or we call it the mother company. Headquarter has set up seven subsidiaries in Africa. We are not only in Uganda. You also find us in Kenya, in Zambia, in Malawi, in Mozambique, you know, in many countries. And whenever we start a project in a country, our purpose is to uh, have the sustainable development. So Mimi Villas Chigo, in Chigo, this housing project is the first one, and now in, within this year, 2019, we, are, uh, we plan to start the second project. The second project uh, is located in Sintema. Uh, we are still now trying to discuss the land transfer thing with our partner, but it's already secured. And the house tabs, uh, we have already uh, designed the draft. So literally, we are going to promote or we are going to build very affordable houses, one bedroom house, two bedroom house, and a three bedroom house. All of them are bungalows. 
And I think this comes to your favorite part about the price, <laughs> because you are very actually keen about how affordable it is. Exactly. Yeah. For the one bedroom, we are thinking the price, tentatively, the price will be around 37 million. Uh, we don't accept the down payment now because, like I said, the, the design is a draft, it's not the final version yet. But you are very welcome to visit those designs after this interview and to give your feedback about how you like the design so that we can polish it to make it a, a perfect one for all the buyers. And you are not the only one who come to see, I want to deposit now. We have received quite a number of applications. And those people come, they say, we want to deposit now so that we can have a plot before you sell all of them since they are so affordable. So one bedroom tentatively the price will be around 37 million. And a two bedroom tentatively will be around like 62 million. So three bedroom will be around 110 million. So that's the quotation or the price the buyers have to afford for such houses. Then every citizen of Uganda be a property owner. What other than that would we like to achieve? You know, to work harder so that together we can develop Uganda. What do you have to tell the audience for the year 2019? What are we looking at? For the year 2019, what I can promise here and uh, like what we have uh, keep doing in Uganda, we will keep building those good quality houses uh, to develop Chigo so that more people can have their lovely houses, their lovely home in Chigo project. And at the same time, uh, in my next interview or the project updating, I'm going to give more information about the affordable houses. Uh, let me repeat, the one bedroom, the quotation, around three, uh, 37 million, two bedroom, around 62 million, and a three bedroom, around 110 million. So those are the quotations for the new affordable houses. And I promise that in 2019, we are going to start the construction of those houses. And every time I have Wendy Shannon said, I will have to pester her to talk about it. It's the property talk.